Have you ever found yourself waiting for an unreachable response? Tensely staring at your phone? She writes off you. That sinking feeling is confusing, unpleasant, and let's face it, it screws with your head. But if I told you there was a way to turn the odds around, what then? What if she is only testing you and the key to winning her back is an old philosophy? The wisdom of Marcus Aurelius? Ignoring you would not either be beneficial. If you are committed to understanding these transformative, stoic principles and enhancing your relationships, hit the subscribe button and like this video, trust me. Seeing through to the finish can transform your relationship, life, and you wouldn't want to miss anything. Let us now probe more deeply. Besides a Roman emperor, Marcus Aurelius was among the best intellectuals of all time. His stoic teachings offer incredible insights on managing daily challenges including relationships, regarding the mental game of attraction. The concepts he suggested centuries ago still apply now. 1. Don't chase lead. Imagine yourself there, staring at your phone, waiting for a non-coming message. Every minute seems to last an hour, and your mind spins with concerns like, did I do something wrong? Your first instinct could be to send another message, trying to grab her attention as she seems bored. The truth is though, following her like that would merely drive her more away. It exposes poverty, despair, and lack of self-control. But great Stoic philosopher, Marcus Aurelius, might have suggested alternative advice. Aurelius considered serving as a guide by example. Being a leader in his day was about self-discipline, patience, and calm amid uncertainty, not merely about power. Her neglect of you tests you. You may start to panic and chase her, or remain grounded and show her you are confident enough to wait. Let me just spin a story for you. One friend of mine was in a similar situation. His fiance had turned cold and seldom responded to his messages. Fidgeting and trying to figure out what went wrong, he started texting her more. The more he pursued, the more far off she became. Then, after researching some stoic concepts, he changed his approach. He pulled back instead of sprinting after. He turned to face himself, set to work on his own goals, and let her approach. And what then do you guess? She asked him once more why he had been so quiet. One actually has power in setting an example. In relationships, the minute you stop running after is the moment you learn control. You are not in need of her attention. Since you have focused on something far less important, this change in attitude speaks volumes. She discovers, I'm secure in who I am. With or without you, a degree of security few people can resist. Remember that leaders attract people naturally. You stop running and start leading, therefore reversing the dynamic. She will start to believe she is the one deprived instead of you needing. Her, this is about respecting yourself enough to not let. Someone's fleeting. Quiet determine your self-worth. It is not about gaming or dominating someone. More important problems should be your focus. So don't start to worry the next time she doesn't text back. Stop running. Lead, then not since you have been blowing her phone, but rather be the man she wants to come back to as your silence and confidence. Speak more than words ever could. 2. Control what you can, let go of what you can't. Imagine now that she is ignoring your messages and that uneasiness is beginning to sneak in. Your questions are whirling, why is she ignoring me? In what sense did I fail? Should I work more at it? Under these conditions, one feels helpless really quickly. Still, Marcus Aurelius can offer a life-changing lesson stressing what you can control and releasing what you cannot. You are powerless over her actions, right? She cannot be made to text you back off or explain why she vanished cold. Still, your response is under your control. You choose your method of approaching the silence. Emphasizing on being the best version of yourself, would you let it drive you crazy? Or will you grab this opportunity for personal development? Let me tell still another story here. One man I know was obsessed with the reason his girlfriend stopped answering his texts. 
Every minute that passed without a response would irritate him more and more. Hence, he would check his phone constantly. After learning about Stoicism, he realized, nevertheless, that his obsession with her response was entirely under his control. Instead than letting that ruin his day, he looked somewhere else. He started going to the gym, working on personal projects and paying pals visits. The second he let up of attempting to control her, he found peace. And marvel what? When she at last texted back, she was startled to find a man not seated around waiting for her. He seemed cool-headed, certain, not hungry and anxious. Apart from pulling her back, his mental change let him realize he never needed her permission to feel good about himself. The lesson, therefore, is to let go of trying to change her behavior. Stress your own capacity for regulation. You will find a peace from which none else can access by doing this. She will see the change too, believe me. Silence is power. This may be familiar to you. She is ignoring you and you feel driven to text her again to start the conversation. Marcus Aurelius, however, would recommend something entirely different use that stillness as a tool. Knowing how to use silence can make it really powerful. Ignoring someone makes one automatically fill that vacuum with noise more books, calls, attempts to gain their attention. But supposing I told you your silence would be more effective than anything you could say? Silence enables you to create space and in that domain she begins to doubt. Did he get bored? Why isn't he text messaging me? The tables abruptly turn upside down. One friend of mine chose to stop texting, completely after his crush ignored him for days. Though tempted, he resisted sending one last message. Rather, he remained still. And who texted him first after a week without contact? She carried out. She asked questions, even fretted about his lack of correspondence. There is actual strength and quiet. Thus, the next time you feel inclined to transmit another message, back off. Recall that silence says more than words. All the qualities that attract individuals in are self-control, confidence, and mystery. Resist the need to break the quiet. Let it serve you. 4. Master Your Emotions let us now discuss the emotional roller coaster you experience when her disregard of you. One easily becomes annoyed, enraged, or even depressed. But Guru of Emotional Discipline Marcus Aurelius would advise you that allowing your emotions to rule you merely weakens you. Imagine you messaging someone and hours pass without getting back. Your brain goes into hyperdrive. Is her intentional neglect of you? Have you said anything incorrect? It's a gut-wrenching sensation. This is your chance to master your emotions, though. Rather of reacting emotionally sent passive-aggressive. Texts or shouting your displeasure. Aurelius would counsel you that feelings pass through us. Though they come and go, your response counts most. You exhibit strength when you are in emotional control. You remain cool collected and level-headed rather than behaving impulsively. This not only helps you keep your self-respect, but also demonstrates to her your resilience against easy rattling. Emotional control is among the most appealing traits one can possess in the field of attraction. She will start to view you differently when she finds that her silence does not throw off you. You are not any man. You are a man in emotional control that is rare. 5. Live in accordance with nature. At last, let us discuss a fundamental Stoic principle. Marcus Aurelius followed, living in line with nature. Within the framework of relationships, what does that imply? It implies realizing that people are free to behave any way they choose. Her feelings, behavior, or decision to text you back are beyond your influence. And that's good. Consider it this way, people have their own rhythm. Nature does likewise. You cannot force the seasons to change. You cannot force someone to pay you the attention you desire when you so want. You may embrace this reality and move with it, not against it. Once I know a man who would become enraged every time, his girlfriend didn't reply immediately. He would allow it spoil his whole day. 
but he came to see from beginning to adopt the stoic perspective that her behavior reflected her own reality rather than his. He welcomed it rather than trying to resist it, and he discovered peace in acting such. Living in line with nature helps you to cease viewing events personally. You are aware that people act for different purposes than you could possibly influence. Acceptance releases the pressure of waiting and wondering. You can go on living with or without her awareness, and believe me, you start to really look rather beautiful once you achieve this degree of acceptance. You are not clinging, hungry, or needing. You are simply a man living in time with the natural flow of life, and that is magnetic. 6. Understand the impermanence of everything. Imagine this, you're being eaten down and you feel totally disregarded. Every time you check your phone and find no new messages, it feels like a fresh wave of loss or frustration. But Marcus Aurelius's constant meditation on the impermanence of things might actually help you to change your perspective. Not even our emotions or events, he realized. Nothing lasts forever. It feels as though the quiet will endure always. When you find yourself caught in that moment, the truth is, however, it won't. The stoic perspective holds that everything, including people's emotions, moods, and yes, even their responses to text messages is always changing. I knew someone dealing with something similar. He was worried about this unusual circumstances whereby his partner was not paying him the necessary attention. But when he dug into stoicism, he discovered something quite important. Her silence was ephemeratic. He started to view it as a phase passing rather than as a permanent state. And guess what? Right now, it very definitely did. Realizing the impermanence of everything allows one to see that one should not be concerned about the silence. It's a brief occurrence. It does not define your relationship either or your value, really. So keep in mind, the next time you feel as though you are locked in an endless cycle of waiting that it will vary, she might text maybe tomorrow or maybe next week. Your grace and patience in managing it, though, are not changeable. Except the idea that everything is fleeting. You will find yourself a lot less prone to worry. 7. Focus on your purpose. Let us now address purpose. Marcus Aurelius lived deliberately, all about doing. He kept telling himself to stay focused on what truly mattered and stay away from letting objects unrelated to his better interests control him. How then does this connect when she is neglecting you? Actually, you are wasting valuable time and effort sitting there waiting for a text. You could be better off using for your own needs. These are the things that truly matter in life your job your interests, your personal growth. Not only will you satisfy yourself, but also you will appeal to others, including her when you pay them more of your attention. Let me suggest one to you. I knew a man who started depressed after his partner passed him over for several days. Instead of slinking, though, he vowed to give his work his best. He threw himself into a side project he had been neglecting. In a few weeks, he had improved greatly and not only felt fantastic about himself, but also his partner started to observe his attitude had changed. She returned enthralled and intrigued, not because he pursued her, but rather because he was consumed with something more than her. Focusing on your aim will help you to show the world something worth contributing. And that's pleasing. Ask yourself then, am I living with purpose? Or am I just sitting here waiting for validation? The answer will guide your next behavior when she brushes you aside. 8. Don't take it personally. These days, this one is quite challenging. Marcus Aurelius, meanwhile, would tell himself that actions of people reflect their own condition, not yours. It's tempting to assume that her ignoring of you results from something you said or did. But often it has more to do with events in her life than with you. Her quiet won't define your value. It's not about you. The crucial lesson is that you personalize everything about you and stop reacting emotionally. 
You show compassion and understanding when you give others space. Her quiet will not define your value. Patience is key. Courtesy especially when you're waiting for someone to visit. Good things take time in life. Marcus Aurelius was, nevertheless, a master of endurance. Speeding or pushing results merely brings disappointment. Remember, patience is about behavior, not about waiting itself. It will enable you to let things grow naturally. The ultimate power, self-respect. Lastly, and most importantly, self-respect. Marcus Aurelius knew that everything else falls. Apart moment you start to devaluate oneself, he was consumed with maintaining self-respect independent of circumstances. Ignoring you causes you to start to doubt yourself. You could be tempted to act out of desperation, send too many texts, or ask for attention, therefore weakening your self-worth. But when you value yourself, you resist letting the conduct of others define you. Once I met a man who was so afraid of losing, his girlfriend that he started acting differently, always seeking her approval and sacrificing his values, the relationship fell apart and he came to recognize that losing respect for himself was the worst mistake he committed. She cannot value you if you do not respect yourself. You are telling her, as well as the world, that you are not someone to be taken lightly when you keep your self-respect. The ultimate power is that which you value self. You always have self-respect whether she returns or not. That is more valuable than any text message. Having said that, much appreciated. Until next time.